Hi everyone, um, how are you all doing? I hope uh, everyone is uh, doing well, staying strong despite everything that's going on. Yes, I finally decided to start vlogging. Just try and start vlogging. Uh, I never really had the uh, you know backbone for this kind of thing. But yes, you know, um, I decided to follow me and sisters, you know, the, their steps. I, I decided to follow the steps of Rachel and Chriselle. <laughs> anyway, uh, kidding aside, um, I actually decided to try this out, you know, because I could use the distraction. Anyway, um, I've been craving for seafood and uh, samgyup since last week, or should I say last last week? I can't really remember. I had this friend. No, I have this friend who was posting and sharing food posts and uh, of course, you know, Facebook's algorithm knows that I'm into food since I'm a foodie and uh, I watch videos and that's where I get new recipes from uh, that I would maybe want to try out, not try out, maybe just watch the video and say, hmm, maybe one day I'll try it or maybe there are videos and I'll say, yeah, I'm actually gonna give that a try. So anyway, she shared the, that post, if I remember correctly, was a platter of lobster meat, uh, crab meat, you know, crab legs, scallops, and clams. Ouch. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then uh, we, you know, of course, uh, by nature, at that time, I, I was actually very hungry and craving for that. So I commented, why? And then, uh, yeah, one comment led to another, and then we eventually started planning that uh, after the quarantine, we would meet up and satisfy those cravings. Uh, syempre, hindi naman mangyayari yan agad-agad pagkatapos nitong quarantine na to, since for sure, there's going to be an adjustment period with the new normal and everything going on. Anyway, so, yes, uh, I went to Robinson's today to find a vital ingredient for the video. So, Okay, so yeah, uh, before we go on anyway, um, the plan originally, originally, why we wanted to go, why I had to go to Rob, or why I wanted to go to Rob was because, yes, college friend, present friend, <laughs> uh, messaged me, hi Bernard, and uh, asked me if I, if, um, no, he didn't ask, he said, it was more of a statement, uh, um, yeah. just post it here, this is what he said. Okay, so I okay, I encountered Bernardo. Yeah. Hi so college friend, present friend. Add friend to crush me. No, no. <laughs> dude, 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 wait. So we were supposed to go to BDO. The only thing is. Sigurado walang pila or sarado yun? You sure? Feeling ko sarado yun, pero yeah.
So, just the basic needs. Bread, oranges, apples, surprise dish later, seasoning for later, and my wallet. Okay, so I have the recipe here with me. I'm going to read it so that I do not get lost. Okay, so here we go. Um, you need at least a one third cup of butter, four cloves of garlic. Uh, I used a kilo of shrimp. It was not yet shelled or deveined. It was a tedious job doing that, but you know, I'd say I averaged one minute per shrimp. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's so wrong. But it took me one hour to devein everything, uh, to shell and devein everything. So yeah, um, one third cup of butter, four cloves garlic, and a kilo of shrimp. Salt, ground black pepper, uh, juice of half a lemon. In my case, I used half a lemon and additional two more slices. And then a little water two, tab two to three tablespoons should be all right um, but in my case again i used four tablespoons and i added a teaspoon of soy sauce and a teaspoon of oyster sauce all right and then for me i used uh, spring onions for the garnish yeah uh, you could use anything you could use parsley if you want or whatever your preferences are Okay, so going to the procedure. Okay, so uh, any you can use any oil here, but for me, uh, I used olive oil. Uh, I mean, you know, the Gordon Ramsay influence. Uh, <laughs> I was I'm influenced by that guy. Uh, anyway, um, you take the divided butter, uh, you know, the butter, and then divide it into two. You put the first half into the pan along with the olive oil and just allow it to melt um, do not let it uh, do not let it get burned yes butter can get burned uh, after a while you add the garlic and then um, you wait for the aroma to not get too strong but you will get a pleasant aroma out of it and then uh, when you s when it becomes constant add the gar add the garlic <laughs> add the shrimp and uh, stir it while occasionally uh, while occasionally stirring it um, two minutes per side should do so after you're done with the first side and you flip it when it's just as it starts to turn pink uh, you add the remaining butter uh, the lemon the remaining lemon juice and uh, the water with if you want to use as well uh, soy sauce and oyster sauce go ahead uh, but those are optional and then you cook while stirring until the butter melts and the shrimps have cooked through. Okay, so it's really easy to make, not, not really complicated. I guess it's just a preparation that takes a lot of time. And uh, yeah, you once everything cooks, uh, cooks through, and uh, do not overcook it. Guys, yeah, it wouldn't taste good if you overcook it. Um, you take off the heat and then. Uh, of course, you gotta test it. 
uh, take a small taste test and uh, see if the if everything's okay with you and yeah I mean if there if you feel like you would like to add more lemon or salt or pepper or any seasoning go ahead and do it and yeah that's probably it I guess that's it for my first video I didn't have too much to say so yeah feel free to leave a comment down below and uh, suggest anything if you're watching this from Facebook why yeah you can still do it in the comments or PM me as well if you want <clears throat> sorry about that so anyway guys uh, have a blast and uh, Arjun out.